This foundation though, oh my gosh, futurist! Yes, what do you think? Hi everyone, it's Alicat Castle. Nice to see you again. And in today's episode, we will be doing a product review on Estee Lauder's Futurist Hydro Rescue Moisturizing Makeup. Yes! And before we dive into this product's review, let me just tell you a little history about the brand Estee Lauder. Mrs. Estee Lauder started the Estee Lauder brand in 1946. She was a pioneer in the beauty industry. She showed the world that a woman can do anything, that a woman can create anything. She was a leader. She was a visionary. She was a futurist. She inspired women then and now, including me. So without further ado, let's review this product. Yes! So first, let me tell you some claims about this product. So. The Futurist Hydra Rescue Moisturizing Makeup, first and foremost, will give you a medium to full coverage. Second, it will also give you a 12-hour radiant glow. And it will also provide UVA and UVB protection with SPF 45. And it will also help to cover redness, dark spots, and imperfections, which I have! Oh my gosh, this will help me. I hope so. And this one also has highlighted ingredients such as chia seed extract to nourish the skin. It also has probiotic technology to soothe the skin. And also, it has iron-charged water complex to hydrate the skin. Yes, this one is also made in Canada. It comes in 28 shades. And this one also won for Glamour Beauty Awards in 2020 as the best lightweight foundation. Yes. So let's open this beauty. Oh my gosh. Oh, by the way, the color that I'm using is Futurist Hydra Rescue 4N1 Shell Beige. And here she is. Oh my gosh. That's the back. Here she is. So now, before I do that, let me moisturize my face first with the S.A. Lauder's Resilience Multi-Effect. By the way, I actually made a review on this moisturizer. I'll actually put it in the comments down below. I mean, in the description box below in case you want to see it. Because we always want to prepare our skin before our makeup. So let me just put some on. And I love this moisturizer because it's very hydrating. It's very moisturizing. And for someone who's 41 years old like me, I need all the help I could get. So this one will definitely help me. And always remember that your makeup will just look good as your skin underneath. So if you have good skin underneath, then your makeup will look good as well. So invest in your skin. So now let's start putting this foundation on. So here we go. You can definitely see that it's very liquidy. Now let's try it on my hand and it definitely glides on really well if you actually see that. And if you have normal to dry combination skin, this is perfect because it will definitely give you that moisturized look and that radiant look talking about so now let's put it on i know i keep on talking but just so that you have an idea about what this foundation is so i'll be using it first with a brush and then i'm going to blend it with a beauty blender and now let me blend it with a beauty blender And you know what? Let me actually put it under my eyes as well. Just so that we can really see how this foundation performs. I love putting my foundation or my concealer under my eyes with my fingers. Just because I feel like I can blend it better that way. And I love to use my ring finger because that's the weakest among all your fingers. Take a look so far! Oh my goodness! It definitely gives that glow. And I love the fact that it gives good coverage, but without it looking cakey. It definitely has the moisturized look. 
it's just a little bit darker than my skin but that's okay because spring and summer is coming up anyway so now let me just put it here on the other side but you can see this is the side that has the redness and imperfections and discoloration and you can see this that it actually gave me that beautiful healthy looking skin so let's put it on on the other side again And then blending it again with a damp beauty blender. And now let's put some on under our eyes. Yes. How about you? Have you done that before as well? Putting your foundation under your eyes. And again, using a ring finger. Look at that! What do you think? So far, I look really bronze. Oh my gosh, just like one of the powders, Bronze Goddess. <laughs> By the way, excuse my hair just because it's so humid here. But look at the foundation. I mean, you can definitely see from here that it's giving me that glow. And at the same time, I love that it actually gives me a good coverage without it looking too cakey but we're gonna be doing a wear test, okay? So what I'm gonna do right now is that I'm just gonna set my makeup with a setting powder, I'm gonna finish my makeup, and then I'll be back to do our wear test. Plus, it's so humid here, I need to fix my hair as well. I'll be right back, okay? Wait for me, love you! And I'm back, and we just finished our makeup. Oh my gosh, what makeup can do and combing your hair as well! So it's 6.47 p.m. here in Washington, D.C. So now we will be doing a wear test on Estee Lauder's Futurist Hydro Rescue Moisturizing Makeup. So let me just do some of our errands and then I'm going to check on you and give you my final thoughts as well, okay? And I'm back as promised to check up on you on our wear test. And it's 8.36 p.m. here in Washington, D.C. And we finished doing our makeup at 6.47 p.m. So that's close to two hours since we're wearing the Futurist Hydro Rescue makeup. And so far, I'm still glowing! So let me just do the podcast with my sister for Transistors TV. And that's between 9 and 10 p.m. And then after that, I'll get back to you for my final thoughts on this, on this foundation. And I'm back! We just finished our podcast for Transistors TV. And guess what? It's 10.19 p.m. here in Washington, D.C. And we finished our makeup at 6 37 p.m. So I've been wearing the Estee Lauder Futurist Hydro Rescue Moisturizing Makeup for more than three and a half hours now. So here's my final thoughts. First, I love that it's full coverage, yet it's not cakey. Yes. Second, I love that it glows on my skin. Yes. And third, it also is long wearing. And fourth, I love that it has SPF 45 protecting us from UVA and UVB, yes! And also, more than anything, it's makeup that has skincare benefits. It's a foundation that loves skin, yes! How about you? What's your thoughts about this foundation? Please write it down in the comment section below. I would really love to hear your opinion and your, opinion and your thoughts. And what's my verdict for this foundation? This is a winner! This is a champion, yes! So, if you enjoy this video and find it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate your support. And also, if you enjoy unbagging, unboxing, as well as skincare, makeup, and fragrance reviews, please consider subscribing. I would so be happy to see you here all the time. And again, I would like to leave it at this. Just like what Mrs. Estee Lauder said, every woman can be beautiful. And if I could add on to that, Every human being is beautiful. And again, this is Alicat Castle. And as I always say, let's all be kind and let's all be a blessing to others by telling everyone how beautiful everyone is. And if I may tell you, you are beautiful just the way you are with or without makeup. And I love you. Yes. I'll see you soon.